Welcome to our video on how to open and work a dish machine here at McHale's Events and Catering. First, always look at each facility's checklist on the front of their machine. Each facility's dishwashers are slightly different, but mostly the same. If unsure about something, check with your banquet manager and they will assist you on how to operate the dishwasher properly. Next thing we're gonna do is check all the drain plugs to make sure that they are totally secure inside of the machine. After checking to make sure that the drain plugs are all in place, we shut the door and the next thing we're going to do is check for our chemicals. There should be three buckets of chemicals under each dish tank. One is the suds, one is the rinse agent, and one is the sanitizing agent. Let's take a close look at this middle bucket. That is the rinse agent and it's very low. You would want to notify the banquet manager to make sure that there is an extra bucket here on site so that during the event, if you run out, he or she can help you change that out. Next, we're gonna check the dispensing unit and then turn the machine on. We also have a hood vent at this facility and we will turn the hood vent to the on position as well. Once the machine is filled, we're gonna send one set of glassware through the machine to test the sanitizing agent to ensure that it's at its proper equation to sanitize our dishes properly. You will find some test strips typically in a quart container sealed from any uh, evaporation process or any extra moisture. And we will take this test strip and put it on top of a glass that has just come out of the dish tank and you will see it change colors. We're gonna compare it to the front of the actual test strip container and we want it between 50 and 100 parts per million. As you can see, this does pass, but if it doesn't for some reason, you wanna notify the banquet manager immediately. Also know that in most facilities there is a three compartment sink and at that three compartment sink there's typically test strips that are different than these. Same thing, you will run it and put it into the sanitizer agent in the water and then you will compare it to the side of the container that you got the test strip out of. If for any reason it fails, then you definitely wanna contact your banquet manager immediately. Each dish after it's scraped is placed into a rack and then the dishes are individually sprayed off. All silverware is put into a, a bus tub with some soaking agents. And when you're washing silverware, know that you will put it in a rack similar, only it will be flat. And then you will run this silverware through the machine twice. Once the machine has taken the dishes all the way to the other end, you'll see that these dishes came out a little bit ago and they're air drying before they're put up. We don't actually towel dry anything for sanitizing reasons, but once they are air dry, you can then collect them and stack them on the shelf. Before any glassware is run through, and typically we wait to the closer to the end of the event to actually run the glassware through, the dish tank is completely rinsed and drained. Let it refill back up and then glassware is gone through just to ensure extra cleanliness of the glasses. We're now at the end of your event and you've ensured that all glassware, plates, silverware have all been put up the way it was found at the beginning of your event. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the dish tank is shut down properly and rinsed out completely. You wanna remove all drain plugs. You'll hear the water actually leaving the machine. You wanna make sure that the machine is completely turned off as well as the hood vent. And then you wanna check all filters to make sure that they're completely rinsed out and all extra food particles have been thrown away. There are some filters inside of each machine as well as that drawer. Thank you again for watching our video on how to wa wash dishes at McHale's Events and Catering, and I look forward to getting to train you further with your MTP.